tonight on EA Sports. Super Bowl 56. So much has happened since the Super Bowl was last in this part of the U.S. in the early 90s. The Rams and Chargers have both returned to L.A. and they've constructed this incredible new palace for football, SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. And it will be the scene tonight for Super Bowl 56. And what a matchup we have. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy. As it'll be the AFC champion, New England Patriots taking on the NFC champions, the Dallas Cowboys. Zeke gonna get it on the option. And he's gonna take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. And Charles, despite this list of key inactives that we see here, they've obviously still been pretty successful. Give everyone credit for this one, because to me, when that happens, key guys are out, the next man steps up and plays well, but that starts with the organization itself, all the way through. No excuses for guys being out, finding guys who are capable backups who can step up and play when they need them, and we've seen the results of that. This team knows how to work through things. On third down, it's Prescott. And he's got Ezekiel Elliott. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. One well, of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, trying to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up a first down. They'll come up now on second and a yard. Prescott off play action. He finds his target. It's Schultz. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. A couple of first downs on the drive already. As they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Again to Elliott. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. It'll be a gain of four. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Toward the sideline, did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the side judge. And that's good enough for a first down. A first down carry by Elliott. A solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Amari Cooper, his intended receiver, and it's third and short. Off the play fake, Prescott. And that will be incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. Zerline's kick is up and through. But hang on, a flag is down. Now if it's on the defense, they might decline it and take the points. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. The roughing the kicker called on fourth down. What a big break. Leads to a first and ten. From the red zone now, Prescott. Now he's got it. Touchdown, Cowboys. With a first touchdown of this Super Bowl and a long one at that. And the Cowboys are on the board first here in this Super Bowl. Zerline good with a PAT, and it's now a 7-0 game. 
that one in the books as a 12 play drive and it culminates in a Dallas touchdown this fielded right at the goal line and it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29 so here come the Patriots getting ready on offense Leading him out is a six foot four Northern Colorado product, Kyle Sloter. And he's been sensational all season long, but he saved his best work for the playoffs, leading his guys to the AFC Championship a couple of weeks ago. And now he knows what lies ahead. He's going to need to play a near perfect four quarters of football to get his guys to the finish line. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. This Super Bowl, of course, just a huge one for this head coach. The first time he's walked the sidelines in a game of this magnitude. And you know, I might normally ask the cliche, what's going through his mind right now? But maybe the better question, CD, what do you think are the pitfalls of being a first-time head coach in this game? Well, you know it's something that he thought about, Brandon, and he had to. And he was thinking about it long before he got to this stage. As the season progressed and he saw that his team was good, if he was smart, he started to make plans right then and there. Reach out to other coaches who've been there before. Find out how they handled winning, losing, handling all the ticket situations, travel, practice, all those things. And then trust your gut, make your best decision, and put it all out there and give your team their best chance to win. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 29-yard line. They're going to look to throw. And that'll be caught by the tight end, Keen. Seven yards, the pick up there. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. The confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sideline thinking to themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball in this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play stopped after a very short game. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rush is just tee off on your quarterback it makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Yeah, this is going to depend on the spot, but I believe he might be a few inches short. It'll be called a gain of two, and that'll leave him with some options here on fourth and inches. Again, they keep it on the ground, and again, it's Johnson. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. In lieu of the sneak on fourth and inches, they just say, give it to the big man in the backfield. Yeah, fullback no less. Not many of those left in the NFL, but for those that have one, perfect time to use them, perfect time to get it done. And that'll get him halfway there as he takes it from the six to the three-yard line. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And that's caught left side by the tight end, Keene. Touchdown, Patriots! Dalton Keene from three yards out. And the Patriots are an extra point away from tying up this Super Bowl. Nick Folk for the point after. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. A 10-play drive that time, and it ends with a New England touchdown. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 here as the kick's away. No return here for Wilson. It's a touchback. It'll come out to the 25. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out, just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. They'll run on first down. 
It's Elliott. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Meanwhile, Dax throw complete into the hands of Schultz here. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. Prescott looks to throw on first. He's going to find Gallup here complete. Three yards the game there, second down. The give is to Elliott. And he's going to take this down close to the first as he's brought down at the Patriots 42. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Tenth carry now for Elliott. And he's going to take this down close to the first as he's brought down at the Patriots 26. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. On third down, Elliott. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. 49 yards rushing for him now in the opening quarter of this Super Bowl. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And they're going to get him. He's sacked back around the 28. Dietrich Wise Jr. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. Tell you what, he did not have much time there to skim the field before he was ducking and covering. Did it appear to you, as it did to me, that the defensive front won their play really quickly, yeah. meaning the guys in front of them had almost no chance to block them? They were on him in a hurry. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. It's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. And Zerline's kick is good. But hang on, a flag is down. Now, if it's on the defense, they might decline and take the points. So that one will be accepted. So a special team's mistake on the field goal try leads to a new set of downs inside the red zone. Prescott. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Mills. And the Patriots are going to take possession here at their own six-yard line. Well, they were in a great position to take the lead, Charles. Obviously, all they needed was a field goal to do that. They wanted the touchdown. Unfortunately, they're going to get neither. And you know every offense talks about the same thing each week, don't they, Brandon? They want to end every drive with a kick. Whether it's a field goal attempt, a point after the touchdown, or at worst, a punt. This time they had that opportunity but didn't get it because you know the field shrinks that close to the end zone and that allows the defense to tighten up their coverage and they pick that one off. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. These two teams all tied after one.
They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. And they're going to get the first down here across the 15-yard line. Well, after an interception, last thing you want to do is go three and out, give the ball right back. They avoided that. Yeah, you definitely do not want to do that. I remember in college, I played with a really big-time player on defense. We ended up getting an interception as we passed the offense coming out. He told him, if you don't take care of this football, you have to answer to me later. You definitely want to take care of it and pick up first downs. On second down now, it's Taylor. Partner, in our years together, we've never really run into a player that's admitted a, a doubt or a lack of confidence, right? But right now, I'm just wondering about that interior line because on defense, they're starting to get manhandled at the point of attack. Do they have it in them to figure a way to reverse the tide? Because right now, they're running the ball at will. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. He'll drop to throw. He'll drop this down to Taylor. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are, you know, make him make someone miss in the open field. On second down, it's Taylor. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. First and 10, Taylor now. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game. Trying to establish the inside run. Run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it. You could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Second and six. Smith catches left side. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 24-yard line. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Dorrance Armstrong in on the stop. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against him. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. 59 yards rushing for him now in the first half of this Super Bowl. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Down near the goal line, things really get physical. You're always anticipating a running play, but when they do throw it, things happen quickly. A little bit of a bang-bang play there that falls incomplete. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. When you look at the geography we're staring at, this part of the field, don't you always think of big backs carrying the football, bruisers trying to pound it in? Instead, look at a little more of a scat back type, and he's trying to... And he's in! Touchdown, Patriots! J.J. Taylor, a five-yard touchdown run, and the Patriots have taken the lead. Well, he decided to run it in and got it done on third and goal. A lot of times, that's a passing play. And the kicker just has to come out for the PAT. He can breathe a sigh of relief as well, right? Although I don't know if he's really breathing a sigh of relief. I think he likes to put three points on his ledger. Extra point up and good by Folk. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And Wilson is perfectly content to bring this out to the 25, a touchback. Ezekiel Elliott gets ready to go again here on offense.
Shuffles onto the field. He's been good. They've utilized him well, but they're losing here in the second quarter. What might they change offensively? I think that what you try and do is expand how you get the ball to him a little bit. Get him out in open space, maybe swing the ball to him. What's that they used to call it in the West Coast offense, the long handoff? Yeah. Serve as your running play that way, as well as continue to feed him in football. Some of these runs now may pop bigger later in the game because of the effects of running it. Sometimes people, after a while, they don't want to tackle him anymore, or they get tired, or they get out of position, or he runs through tackles. Continue to feed him the ball. He's having that kind of game. Yeah, might they get him the ball in some space in some different ways here. On third down, it's Elliott, and he will have a Cowboys first down. At least it appears that way, and he got it by maybe the length of a football. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Draw play, Elliott, and he'll run straight into a wall of tacklers at the line of scrimmage. It's second down. And his carries tonight, they're getting up there, so maybe one of those every now and then is understandable. I would agree with that. Understandable every now and then. Sometimes you come back and you fake it to him and go play action, but other times you say, okay, they got him on that one. We'll come back to him in another carry. The Cowboys on third down. They've been very good, five for seven thus far. This is third and 10. He'll get this out wide here to Elliott. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Prescott to throw it. Got an open man, the tight end Jarwin. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. They'll wind up losing 10 on the sack, and it'll lead to a third and long. It looked like they were trying to get him outside there, but this defense had different plans. Yeah, they really had an outside-in kind of a pass rush. It's almost like when you're covering a punt, you can't let him get to the outside and get to the sideline. You force him to stay in the middle of the field, and they did exactly that and made the play. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack? It's third and long. And this is going to be incomplete. Had to pass there, third and long on your own side of the field. Just couldn't come up with anything. That's why teams always talk about having to win the early downs, meaning you've got to gain yardage and set yourself up for third and short because when it's third and long, the odds go down significantly trying to pick up the first down, even throwing the football. Good blocking there. Nearly sprung him as it is. It'll go as a 19-yard return. And the Patriots take over. The Pats at the line, ready to go. Now their last two drives, both ending in touchdowns. It's got them this 14-7 lead. And it looks to me, and I think you're probably seeing the exact same thing, they're in an ideal spot now to create some separation. The way that they're functioning on offense now, they can create a pretty good gap. That was their defense to play with a little more verve and confidence. That big article in the paper this morning about them stringing possessions together for consecutive touchdowns. Well, right here, they're trying to make it three in a row. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. On first down, Taylor. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. Now back to throw. And he's going to have the hook up here with Harry. And he takes this down deep on the Cowboys' side of the field. A big play there for the Patriots. That was awfully nice. Hit him in stride, and off he went. It was almost like the ball hitting him. It was like him receiving a baton, and he was running the anchor leg in a relay race. And he's brought down. 89 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. They scored touchdowns on drives one and two, and now they're trying to make it a perfect three for three to start. Taylor, and he's over the line and into the end zone for a Patriot score. J.J. Taylor, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Patriots continue to look good here in the first half of this Super Bowl. Full 
connects on the extra point, and it's now 21 to 7. Five plays there on that drive, and it's finished off by a Pats touchdown. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. No return here for Wilson. To touch back, it'll come out to the 25. The Dallas offense back out onto the field and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs, and that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. Another carry tonight for the workhorse, Elliott. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. That's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes, the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there, about to break a big one. And Elliott trying to work his way forward, but it looks like he did not make it. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively. And it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. So a good punt there, but a nice return of 11 yards. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. He's in his own second quarter, already closing in on a 100-yard game. And that's the magic number for a running back. Anytime you get to that triple digits, that's all you're looking for. But he's got a chance to really exceed that in this one. Yeah, he does. That, that's been the gold standard for a long time as of that 100-yard mark. It really has, and that never has to shift because it's in a game. It's a thousand yard mark. I'm wondering since we've gone from 12 to 14 to 16 games. Maybe we need to up that a little. They'll run on first down. Taylor. And he'll work this forward for about three. It's second down. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. They'll set up to throw. Catch is made by Harry. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. On first down, it's Taylor. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Micah Parsons, the linebacker, in on the tackle. Second and nine now. Down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. Micah Parsons able to drop him for a loss of a couple. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Over the middle to Smith. And he will not be able to get the first as he can get this only down to the five. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And folks, kick is good. And they will open things up a bit more. It's 24 to 7. So a long drive gets them down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. And Wilson is perfectly content to bring this out to the 25, a touchback. And let's gaze our attention on Ezekiel Elliott. And I'm wondering if maybe they don't go away from him on this drive a little bit. He's, he's been great, but they haven't scored a lot of points. I think they still have to show him as a threat. Make sure he touches it a few times. But as you pointed out, use him as a decoy a little bit and get the ball in the hands of some other people in order to put more points on the board. But he's done a really nice job of establishing them with his running. Yeah, he's established himself well. Now can they put more points up? Prescott's throw there caught by Gallup. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. <laughs> 
second down and three. There's Prescott. He finds his man complete. That's Schultz. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. First and 10 here. You know, if they could just get three out of this, there's something about narrowing it to a two-score game at half that makes it feel like much less of an obstacle. Buying time to his left. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Play fake. Here's Prescott. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked off inside the 10, and his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Boy, we've seen a lot of mistakes here in this first half, and another there on the interception. Yeah, they're certainly starting to pile up, aren't they? Because, let's face it, we expect a miscue here and there, but they're already down three scores and still giving the ball away. If they want to get back into this one, they've got to take oh, a leap, and he will make the catch. And they finally do get him, but not before he reaches the 27. So a little extra on top of the big play there. It's tough for guys rushing the passer, but you have to know when the ball is gone. And if you listen, officials will tell you ball's gone. He didn't pull up. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. And folks, kick is good. And that will do it for this first half. So these two teams will head to the locker room as we hit halftime in Super Bowl 56. As we send you to our EA Studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight. As we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. Thus far, this Super Bowl has looked less like a contest and more like a coronation. And to call the second half, Let's get it right back out to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. These two teams sat through a longer-than-usual 30-minute wait, but we're back in action here in the Super Bowl. A marker down. He does get it up past the 25. Will it hold? Let's see. Defense. Don't do us like that. Charles, did I just hear that right? They declined the personal foul. Free yards, they just declined them. And I have to think that the official is thinking to himself, did I just hear that correctly, that you declined that one? All I can think of is that someone on the field got confused. Must because have. It had to, because you're going to take the yards on that penalty each and every time. They're able to shake free for about seven up to the 35. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick, he's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. Now a man open down the middle of the field, and they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. 106 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. The last run got six, now second and four. They go to the ground again with Taylor. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. They'll look to throw now on first down. Over the middle, that's caught by Harry. Uh, he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. 
hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. I think it's pretty safe to say that when you're up three touchdowns, the last thing you want to do is hang one up there and put it in jeopardy and possibly get it intercepted. Get a nice lead. You should be able to protect it. But if you get careless with the football, look out. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. So first and ten. And if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. And it's caught. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. Johnson is into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Well, the first drive ended in three. This time they take it down and punch it in the end zone. So that first drive felt like they were just gathering knowledge, didn't it? Just enough to kick the field goal on the first one. And the second time they put it all together and got it all the way to the end zone. Extra point up and good by Folk. And that stretches the lead all the way up to 27. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. No return here for Wilson. To touch back, it'll come out to the 25. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. Of course, they'd like to forget the ending, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Dietrich Wise able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots. D on third down. To throw is Prescott. And he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. There's a nice pickup right there. And after watching that play, I'm thinking about all the lost opportunities that they've had so far in this game. But right now, just focus on continuing to move the ball the way they did on the last play. Dak dropping this one off for Zeke. Not much there, only a yard. To throw again on second down. Prescott got his man there complete to Gallup. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. He's had trouble finding open receivers all game, CD, and that's because really there hasn't been many. This defense has been all over them. Yeah, they're one of the better defenses in the league, and every time I talk to someone around the NFL, they all say the exact same thing. They're so fundamentally sound, it's hard to execute against them. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 15-yard line. Well, maybe this offense has learned something from watching their counterparts work. I'm wondering if their coaching staff said, let's do what they've been doing the entire game because that's worked well. This offense, if... and he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. They'll wind up losing three there on the sack. Good pressure, and it's second down. Another try after the first down sack. Prescott. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Prescott from the gun. That ball is caught. It's Gallup. Touchdown, Cowboys. Michael Gallup. 
there to make the grab. And the Cowboys get a bit closer. Zerline connects on the extra point, and the lead now down to 20. So the extra point good, and the roughing call going to move the ball out to the 50 for the kickoff. And I think this is a good chance to pin them deep if you can land the kickoff inside the five-yard line or so. Gain some field position for your defense. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. He's already hit pay dirt twice. He's up over 100 yards. He is feeling good. He's just zipping along today. Everything coming together for him. It's that type of a day that you see a back just kind of have a grin on his face every time his number is called. Because he doesn't feel like there's going to be any lost yardage plays. Nothing but big time positive runs. Making the sideline grin as well. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Throwing left side, it's complete. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. This is just more of the same. This defense has had no answer on a lot of these throws. They've let these receivers run wild. And here's another completion for good yardage. They'll run on first down. Taylor, and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. And they'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. They give to Taylor out of the gun. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. It's a six-yard. Pickup, but still a few chain links short, it appears, with fourth down coming up. Now that Patriots sideline not happy with what just transpired, and they're going to throw out the challenge flag. The thing that they'll be looking at is a spot of the football, and uh, this is always such a tough one for officials to get exactly right. Not just because of how fast the game's going, but just trying to get the right sight line to the football, that's not always easy. We'll see what they decide here. And folks, kick is good. And that lead will move from 20 up now to 23. So three more points tacked on, and this margin getting more comfortable by the minute. And with the lead where it is, you can actually feel good about field goals. We talk all the time about scoring sixes, not threes. But in this case, they're just looking to chew up some time and come away with points. And Wilson is perfectly content to bring this out to the 25, a touchback. And out now come the Cowboys. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minutes. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Out of the gun, it's Elliott. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. And they got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. They go to Elliott again. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Here's Brian Anger now as he's on to punt for Dallas. Oh, the return is Olszewski. They'll call it a punt of 44 yards. The return was for seven. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. A carry by Taylor to start the drive. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They'll look to throw here. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 
That's another beautiful throw right there. It gets it to his man right in stride. And I think that throw kind of exemplifies what we've seen from this offense throughout this game. They've been in rhythm. They've been sharp. They've been on it. And they pick up another first down there. Tapping made that time by Chauncey Goldston. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Back to throw here. Going to throw right side here, complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A big play there for the Patriots. I'm seeing a lot of guys shaking their heads on defense right now, particularly in the secondary. And when you see that going on, that is never a good sign. But it's understandable. They've been shredded so far. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Here's second and two now from the three. They'll look to throw. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. A great effort there. There to make the grab. And the Patriots are on their way to the franchise's seventh Super Bowl title. Full connects on the extra point, and the lead will swell by one more. A drive that time of six plays, and it ends with a New England touchdown. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. No return here for Wilson. To touch back, it'll come out to the 25. Here's the Dallas offense now, heading back out onto the field. Those Super Bowl hopes that they had really dwindling now here in the fourth quarter. That NFC crown that they got two weeks ago seems like a distant memory as they have been outplayed tonight. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Dietrich Wise Jr. bringing the pressure yet again. That's his third sack here tonight. And that's his third sack, and that ties the Super Bowl record. Makes me think of my old college teammate, Reggie White. He had three with the Green Bay Packers in Super Bowl 31. Darnell Dockett of Arizona, Super Bowl 43. And Coney Ealy, three sacks for the Panthers against Denver in Super Bowl 50. All those sacks, they've only been an official record since Super Bowl 17. I know it's believed that L.C. Greenwood unofficially had four way back in Super Bowl 10. We're in those golden high tops as well. And this is too far behind his man. And he missed him. It's incomplete. Desperation time. Prescott on fourth. Letting one fly deep for Cooper. And that's caught inside the 35. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A big connection on that one. 39 yards. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. And that is going to be incomplete as he let him a bit too much. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. That is caught by Lamb. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. C.D. Lamb, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Cowboys get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. Zerline good with a PAT. And that will shave a bit off the lead as it's down to a 23-point game. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And what could he possibly be thinking? He just took the fair catch at the one-yard line. Major mistake.
They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Here's second and a yard. They run once more with Taylor. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 15. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. He'll look to throw. Throwing right, and that's complete. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Well, normally you might say start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter, but the way that they've passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack, but you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game, and trusting this quarterback, I think he continued to do so. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Again, it's Taylor. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half, to about the 39. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. On second down, it's Taylor. And three yards there takes him to the 45. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Back to throw. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down when his way it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Johnson's got it complete. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. So the completion good for seven there. And it'll make it a second down. Now a handoff, Taylor with it. And this time not quite to the 30, it'll be down at the 31 yard line. Now after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Well, he gets attended to, we'll step aside. And they're gonna get about three here out of this first down run, and that'll bring up second and seven. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it, sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much and your hands get shaky. And yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. Call it a gain of four, and it'll bring up four down. You know, we might start getting some props here in the booth. You know, that one that says the D and then the fence that you put up next to it. How about that? They brought out the jumbo package and still couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage enough to pick up that first down. Impressive. They were ready defensively for that jumbo set. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? And Wilson is perfectly content to bring this out to the 25, a touchback. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. 
And it's becoming more and more apparent that this is just not going to be their night. That Lombardi trophy is so close, but the expectations simply have not matched the results as they start on this drive first and 10. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Here's second and seven now from the 28. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. Okay, I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. Yeah, fourth quarter. Maybe you do start to watch as the arm there, the legs still there. This has been a tough game. And that is incomplete. Uh, the coverage excellent there downfield, and it leads to a fourth down. I remember a coach telling me a long time ago the difference between playing corner and safety in the NFL. The corner is like the... And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Mike McCarthy took the gamble, didn't pay off. And the Patriots take over. They're going to have terrific field position. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Wide open receiver complete. Touchdown. A great play there. His second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Patriots are starting to pour it on to the game's biggest stage. They are running away with this Super Bowl. Extra point up and good by Folk. And that will extend this big lead. A nice tidy little drive there. Getting the ball in excellent field position. And only one play to score. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. No return here for Wilson to touch back. It'll come out to the 25. Dallas offense set for this next drive. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> Can't get away, and he's taken down. They bring the safety on the blitz, and he busts through to drop him for an eight-yard loss. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Another try after the first down sack. Under pressure, and they got to him again. Call it a loss of five, a big sack to bring up third down. Looking to throw, Prescott. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Mike Purcell. That's now back-to-back -back sacks, and it brings up fourth down. Here's Brian Anger now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And he's able to get it out of there. And this will be down by a member of the kicking team just outside of the 30-yard line. New England's offense set to go. And they are trying to play it cool down on the sidelines, but they know that they are very close now to wrapping this thing up and letting the celebration begin. A Super Bowl title win and reach now as they try to polish this thing off. Brandon, every great running backs coach I've talked with has always talked about when you have great vision, you're not consciously thinking about your cuts and your moves. You're just doing them. And I think that's what we're seeing tonight. He's about running them into submission. Uh, I think. You took the words right out of my mouth. I was just going to use that phrase. He has run them into submission. Wave the white flag. Coming up on the final two and a half minutes. And boy, has it been fun to watch this offense operate. Quite the display, and now they look to polish it off. They'll roll him out right. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. On first down. It's Taylor, and he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Coming up on a second and six. They'll keep it on the ground. Taylor, and he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? 
Now a give to Taylor. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Lots of praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. And the kick is good. So you wonder how this one might be remembered the next time these two teams meet. But until then, this game's over. And it's another Super Bowl title for the New England Patriots. <laughs> And their remarkable season ends in the most remarkable of ways. They get to put next to their name, Super Bowl champion. And they can't ever take that away, can they? Nope. That lasts forever. So good to see the emotion when it's all said and done. You see the hugs. You see the guys sharing the collective happiness. Makes me want to carry you around a little <laughs> bit on my shoulders to celebrate the triumph. And congratulations to them. A fantastic season. And they are the Super Bowl champs. The Lombardi Trophy is theirs, and so are bragging rights for an entire season. What a season it has been. Feels like we have been there every step of the way. Our entire crew doing a wonderful job. Thanks to my broadcast partner, Charles Davis. For all those guys, I'm Brandon Gunn signing off. We'll talk to you next season right here on EA Sports.